Every one of you represents something very special. The name on the front is very special. It means a lot. Recognize these colors you guys are wearing tonight. Recognize these colors we're wearing. Understand, this is what Pittsburgh's built on. Everybody in this city understands. If you're from Pittsburgh, you know what those colors mean. Fight for Pittsburgh. Gosh, so many great moments. And he scores! You can't believe what just happened here at Heinz Field. The Pitt Panthers make it 27 in a row at home and win this top 10 showdown. What a comeback for Pittsburgh tonight against number seven, Zach Beach. A season opening ACC victory for Pitt. Sends a cross in, looks for West, the head is there, and it is a Panther goal and a Panther victory. I think what happens is with teams that have had success in the past, there's a, maybe an established belief that you can be great in this particular sport. We can build it where we want it to go, whether it's football or basketball or wrestling. Uh, but there's a number of sports that, you know, women's soccer, we had never won an ACC match until this year, the overtime win against Boston College. So Coach Waldron came in and he has such confidence and courage that he knows that he can build something that's never happened. As Pittsburgh defeats NC State 2-1. to one. You know, you see the the, what we're doing with women's lacrosse and building that program from the ground up, literally starting that program. And um, Emily, Coach Boissonneau is just doing an unbelievable job, not only recruiting kids to Pitt, but getting the sport of lacrosse exposed here in the city of Pittsburgh and the greater region and traveling around the country, doing camps and building the Pitt lacrosse brand. She's doing something that's never been done. And so it is really incredibly exciting to see. And getting in is Kiza, and he scores! The delivery, and it's a Kiza party in Pittsburgh. Being at a men's soccer game, um, just with the fans packed around the stadium, and people coming up saying, I think we need more stands. Um, and the alumni that all came back, men's soccer, uh, the progress that this team showed, um, you know, we had not been to the NCAA tournament since 1965. The Pittsburgh Panthers win a match in the NCAA tournament. The reality is um, when Jay Vitovich came and he had won national championships at previous stops and he came here to do the same type of thing at Pitt. He knows what it takes to win a national championship and you can't do it overnight and, and so you've got to take those progression steps and for us to get into the NCAA tournament, you know, I sometimes call it slaying a dragon, but we did. We slayed that dragon that is the sort of the, you know, can we get past the hurdle? Can we get into the NCAA tournament? And our players know what it's like to play in that on that setting, that that is only going to prepare the team better for next year, and they know what it takes. They're not satisfied by any means, and so this is a chance for them to build upon that success. and. Um, just grateful for our whole coaching staff and the impact that they've had on these student athletes' lives is tremendous. Yeah, you know, I remember uh, the cross country team uh, going to run their first home match here in over 50 years, you know, home meet. And I will tell you that um, Coach Herbst or Brad is just an extraordinary cross country coach, and I think doing things the right way and building this program in the right way and, and we've had to build this from ground up and I, you know I think about doing something for the first time and doing it right and doing it for the student athletes and to be able to host a home meet and um, it just meant so much not being afraid to take a risk and make a difference and do something that we've never done before Nina Ray, Ray with this shot with the tape When I came here, the first week on the job, we had a head coach, wrestling coach opening. You know, it, I'm literally, I was two days in and we were searching the country for the best wrestling coach. And we're in Western Pennsylvania where wrestling is heavily followed and tracked and, um, and dominant. And, you know, I know a lot of coaches across the country were coming into Pennsylvania and taking our wrestlers and, 
and to other schools. And uh, so I knew that this was a hotbed and a sleeping giant in many ways and an opportunity for us to be the best in wrestling. So we hired Coach Gavin, who I just, um, I mean, he has walked it. He's won a national championship, so he absolutely knows what it takes to win at the highest level. I know Coach Gavin, you know, they're never satisfied, uh, but really start to see the momentum shift in our favor and um, see what's yet to come and, and it sort of let you believe in what, what, what we have the ability to do. Our team has worked hard to um, put this athletic department and our coaches and the student athletes in a position for success, um, but it takes time, you know, so I think we all have to be patient with the amount of progress and how fast we want it to all happen. Um, but certainly I'm, I'm thrilled with the progress we've made in so many different teams and so many different programs. And um, you're, we're starting to see um, you know, the efforts and the, and the hard work that everyone has put in behind it. You know, I always say it's not about one coach or one student athlete or one person in this department. It takes everybody to build a successful athletic program. And so i um, really grateful for our whole team making a difference in our coaches and student athletes' lives.